This is an amazing battle footage. We can see the Ukrainian Bradley Infantry fighting vehicle under fire evacuates the crew of the previously destroyed Bradley Infantry fighting vehicle in the Avdivka direction. New high-powered ammunition for Ukrainian FPVs is impressive. Coup risk is rising in Russia. The Kremlin regime reversed course and opted to keep the popular Major General Spartak Popov in prison. House arrest is denied. This is significant. Popov made various snarky comments while seeming relaxed. Attempt to arrest Gerasimov might be the trigger. Someone must be held accountable. The current purge is a consequence of internal discord between the FSB and the military, arising from the failure to capture Kiev and competition for defense funds. The recent arrests of five top Russian military officers may just be the beginning of a sweeping purge by the security services, according to Russian government officials and sources close to the Kremlin and the Ministry of Defense. The FSB is targeting high-ranking generals in an effort to root out military corruption and take control of the army's vast budget, with tacit approval from the Kremlin. However, these arrests risk disrupting the army during Moscow's efforts in Ukraine. The ongoing purge is the result of intense infighting and competition for resources between the security services and the Ministry of Defense, marking a victory for the FSB in currying President Putin's favor. As the arrests gain momentum, they could lead to the largest purges in modern Russian history, potentially involving dozens or even hundreds of individuals across units of the Ministry of Defense. The long-term impact of these purges will be intriguing to observe. Given Russia's track record, it's not out of the realm of possibility for corrupt officials to be replaced by others of a similar nature. Regardless, this represents a setback for Shoigu and his associates. American Bradley fighting vehicles save lives of Ukrainian soldiers. We have around 2,800 in storage. Bradley was literally developed to fight the Russians. Why have we not sent more to Ukraine so they can fight the Russians? Make it make sense. Ви ніде не побачите відео, де Бредлі наїжджає на міну, і вона вибухає з жодного. Угу. Я сам переніс три міни в машині, підірвались на трьох мінах, і на перших двох почала скриготати гусня, а вже третя вже гуску, гуску відірвало повністю, але нічого, ми вийшли, ну, нічого, все нормально. Ну, трошки просто не зрозуміли, запах пороху, в машині дим, ляду відкрили і почали відходити на... Позиції, щоб закріпитися. Чи правильно розумію, що це були протитанкові міні? Так. так. Три протитанкові міні. Так. так. Не одразу, по черзі. Так, так. По черзі. І вже на третю, я так розумію, що ми прямо центром наїхали гусні. І вона просто відлетіла, і все, ну, машина вже зупинилася. Poland's defense minister, Kosiniak Kamis, publishes a report showing that 14,000 illegal Middle Eastern migrants have tried to enter Poland from Belarus this year. Almost all have been stopped by the border wall or forced back to Belarus in pushback operations. Why did you find anything but death? Only death! You 
Sweden announces a huge military aid package for Ukraine worth $7 billion. If the U.S. would spend as much in relation to its GDP, it would amount to a military aid package worth $335 billion. The spirit of King Charles XII lives on. Dear Ukrainians, my name is Ulf Kisterholm and I'm the Prime Minister of Sweden. Today I would like to address you directly. Because you're fighting not only for your own freedom and security, but also for ours. Since Russia launched its full-scale invasion, we have provided Ukraine with 15 military equipment support packages. This includes air defense systems, combat vehicles, main battle tanks, archer artillery, anti-tank weapons, combat boats and mine clearance equipment. Ukraine is also Sweden's single largest recipient of bilateral development assistance. And once Ukraine is victorious, Sweden will be there to help rebuild your country. Today we're taking another step. Sweden's government, together with our cooperating party in Parliament, have agreed on a new framework for long-term support to Ukraine, comprising a total of 6.5 billion euros, or 75 billion Swedish kronor, in military support to Ukraine from 2024 to 2026. This support will help fund long-term donations of additional military material and the purchasing of new material for direct supply from the defense sector to Ukraine. Ukraine's course is Sweden's course. We will support you for as long as it takes. Slava Ukraini. And for the end, Starship's third flight test was a step towards a rapidly reusable future. The Flight 4 is in about 10 days. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.